Welcome to the recap of the day where we round up the biggest highlights from the world of football in the last 24 hours. And we start our roundup from the continuous action from the World Cup qualifiers ongoing in Asia and South America. And we begin from Asia as South Korea sealed their qualification from Group A alongside already qualified Iran after breezing past Syria 2-0. Goals from Chin Su Kim and Chang Won Kon increased that tally to 20 points, two behind top of the group Iran, who defeated UAE 1 0 thanks to the 44th effort minute from Mahdi Tarimi. Iran played most of the second half with 10 men after Sadiq Magarami was sent off earlier in the half, but United Arab Emirates could not capitalize as they remained with 9 points at third, which will see them play the third place side from Group B in a playoffs match. Elsewhere in Group A, Lebanon and Iraq played to a 1 0 draw that helped neither side get behind that playoff spot. In Group B, the big clash between Japan and Saudi Arabia went to the Samurai as they beat their guests 2-0. Liverpool's Takumi Minamino made it 1-0 after the half-hour mark, before Junior Ito made it 2 inside 10 minutes of the second period to move closer to their opponents with one point behind them at the top of the group, nearly guaranteeing their direct qualification. In Group B as well, Australia couldn't take advantage of the Saudi Arabia loss as they were held away from home to a dual draw against Oman. And finally, in that group, Vietnam defeated China 3-2 in a stakeless match for both sides as they're both in the bottom ranks of the group with two matches left to play in the Asian campaign. From Asia, we moved to the CONMEBOL zone and things seem to be taking shape as far as qualifying spots go. On Tuesday night, Chile get managed to greet a win over Bolivia 3-2 away to stay close to 5 qualifying positions at 6 with 19 points as Alexis Sanchez backed a brace for his national team during the game. On Wednesday early morning, the rest of the games were played as Argentina continued their impressive undefeated streak as they beat Colombia 1-0 thanks to the sole goal from Inter's Lautaro Martinez, although it should have been more as they celebrated their Copa America trophy in front of fans for the first time since winning it back last summer. Brazil, who already qualified alongside Argentina, found no problem in squashing Paraguay 4-0 at home thanks to goals from Leeds's Rafinha, Philip Coutinho, Ajax's Anthony and Real Madrid's Rodrigo to stay on top of the standings with 39 points undefeated as well as Argentina. Uruguay also brushed off Venezuela 4-1 at home thanks to goals from Rodrigo Bentancor as early as the third minute, plus efforts from Georgian de Arascaeta, Edison Cavani and a second-half penalty from Luis Suarez to see Uruguay get into the top four places right ahead of Peru, who played home to Ecuador but only managed one point out of the possible three as it ended one all, with Peru's Edison Flores equaliser cancelling Michael Estrada's second-minute goal for the visitors as this break is over and the action is set to resume in late March for all the zones. And we finish off in Africa as the midweek sees the semi-finals of the African Cup of Nations kick off on Wednesday as Burkina Faso set to play Senegal in the Ahmadou Aja Stadium in Yaoundé with the Ethiopian Bamlek Decima on the whistle for that game. On Thursday is arguably the bigger one of the two, as hosts Cameroon play Egypt in the reopened Olympi Stadium in Yaoundé, with the Gambian Bakari Gassama on the whistle. That game is going to be the first game to be played in that stadium, since the tragic events that preceded Cameroon's round of 16 tie against Comoros, which saw a reported 8 casualties and over 70 injured in a rush to get to the stadium ahead to the match. That's it for the recap of the day. Like, share, comment on the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Enable notifications to receive all the updates. Follow us on social media, the link's in the description. And I'm your host, HOD of the PSB, and I'll see you soon.